Hi, Colby. Nice for the girls to give us some time to speak. Yeah. When you left me in Sydney, I bet you didn't think I'd follow you back down here. I really didn't. Mm. Even though you turned up on my doorstep first. <laughs> well, you uh, told me you'd broken up with Sean and moved back from Switzerland. I um, was already at an airport. It made sense to check on you. I also told you, apart from living with my mum, that I was great and Asta was great. Even Sean's fine. He's got himself a Bondi beach pad. I'm glad. I wasn't going to chase you, Chloe, but knowing this place was up for sale, I, I knew it'd get snapped up pretty quickly. Probably. Which would mean that you wouldn't have much time to decide whether it was still Adelaide or whether it might be Sydney now. Just when I'd made a decision, you had to throw me a curveball. It took off before we had time to discuss it properly. I was confused. It sounded like, like you were implying that we could be a thing again. Not implying. I knew we could. You just didn't give me a chance to explain. Like, let me try and do that. <sighs> Since leaving Erinsborough, I have been thinking about you constantly. At first I thought I was just missing a friend. But as time went on, I realised it is so much more than that. <laughs> Sean and I, I we make sense. We're, it's easy, but I never felt for him what I feel for you. I hope you didn't tell him that. <laughs> he knows it well enough to realise. Sean's a good guy, but he never stopped me from trying to figure out who I am. And what did you figure out? That I love you. I want to be with you, Chloe. We've been here before. No, just let me finish, OK? Last time when we were together, you told me we didn't have a balanced relationship because you were all in and I didn't know who I was, and you were right. I didn't even know if I identified as being queer. But I do now. You told me you wanted to be with someone who was on the same level of self-knowledge and self-acceptance as you are. And I know it's taken me a while to get there. But I am now. Chloe, I have always loved you. And this time I'm ready. I'm sorry, I, did, I just didn't know how to tell you that when you came and visited. I'm sorry, I know this is a lot. Just take your time. And we can talk about it whenever you're ready. Oh, 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 you remember Harold, don't you? Yes, it's been a while. I think I was about 16, but it's <laughs> lovely to see you again. Likewise. Uh, yes. Really? Um, how's B? Yeah, yeah, she's great. I'll, I'll have to catch you up. But uh, if you guys are heading out, don't let me stop you. Uh, oh, no, look, we'll, we'll talk again properly a bit later. Mm. Yeah, yeah, OK. Yeah. Sure, see you guys. Okay. See you. Bye. 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 Oh, this is just wonderful. Yes, how long are you here for? Um, not too long. Do you guys have a bed for me? Oh, yes, yeah, yes, of course, we can, we can make it work. I'm assuming that Asta's with Sean? Yeah, I'm so happy he agreed to come back to Australia after you two broke up. Hmm. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> I'll make you a cup of tea. I want to hear all your news. What brings you back? Um, so we do have that brunch shortly. Oh, well, we can't go now, can we? Just text Mal and say we can't make it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Mal is in your mouth. Yes, the one and only. Oh, I'd love to see him. Can I come with you? Um. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, actually. I wouldn't mind your take on his new relationship. Oh. We well, should have caught up while you're in Europe. Oh, I love the Swiss Alps. Isn't that where you met your last husband? Oh, Clint loved high altitudes. <laughs> May he rest in peace. Oh, Sean and I, we just love the summertime so much. Now that we're back, we're so happy. 
Mm. Same with us. Mm. Yes, and we love having our brood within arm's reach. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how you handle it. All your babies and grandbabies being so far away, I wouldn't have thought you'd be able to stand it. I mean, I hate being so far away from Holly. Yet somehow, you manage. Just wanted to sympathise mother to mother. Izzy, you must have great London recommendations if I ever need them. I could write the book. Actually, there's the most beautiful boutique hotel. It's where Mel and I had our first date. Uh, it's a bit far out of the way. No, but it's worth it. Remember that lamb ragu we had for room service dinner? <laughs> Actually, I spilled it all over myself and Mel was adamant no. we wouldn't waste the food. <laughs> I don't need to hear about it. <laughs> TMI. Do you have any idea where you want to live? I'm still up in the air. I'm really sorry. Um, I've got to go. Oh, no, really? Yeah, it's, just, it, it's really important. I'll see you guys at home, OK? Bye. Bye. Did I invite her back too soon? Don't ask me. I'm biased and I want you to come to Adelaide. <laughs> but... I don't know. All I can say is I love you both, but be careful. Honestly, I don't know if my heart is capable of taking a risk on her again. I don't blame you. Oh, hey, good to see you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> um, we'll uh, have to catch up properly later. I thought you would have wanted more time. Obviously, you're not going to jump at this. But please just don't say no yet. Of all the relationships I've ever had, you've met the most. But how can I know this is real? There's nothing standing in front of us this time. I just wish I knew what else to say. Maybe there is nothing. I know what our life would look like together. We could get our own place, maybe somewhere near the beach. We'd spend half the time running around after Asta, like this cute little family. <laughs> and on the days when she's with Sean, we could go away for the weekend. Or we would spend our days at home cooking. Or spend the day in bed, wrapped up in each other's arms. Just the two of us. That's what I've been dreaming about. We had dreams last time. It was reality that was the problem. Yeah. Whatever reality throws at us, we can deal with it together this time. You are the only partner I want in my life. Ellie. I need to, um, I need to get my head around this. Just um, give me a call whenever you're ready.